Hips too smooth. So we got another film session. We're doing um the Broncos versus the Raiders today. Got a couple um plays I want you guys to see. So right now on this play, we're right here. Um we got um Devontae Adams versus Pat Sertain right here. All right. So before we get started, look at um he's on the top of the numbers right here. Um in the NFL, their number system is a little different. It's closer to the hashes and the hashes are smaller. So he's creating a little space for himself right here. If we can tell, so Pat Sertain, um, when I tell you guys to jam, you always wanna work one to two, okay? One to two, um, because it puts you in a better position in your lateral transitions and everything. Um, doesn't lock your hips up. Um, so right here, he just kind of shoots at him. I think he was doing an inch back right there but now he has to get on top and try to close this space. He has to try to close this space so he can make a play on the ball. But no, Devontae Adams makes an easy back shoulder catch right here. All right, guys. So what he should have done is they're going to give you the tight view. Uh, it's flickering a little bit. NFL Network need to get their stuff together because we pay for this. Uh, what he should have done, I'm going to just explain it because we can't see him. You know, shoulders over toes. Make sure we have our balance. Pick our technique. Know what we're doing with our technique. All right. Know our lateral movement. And, A, hey, stay on top. Keep our eyes on our key. Okay. And we have to be urgent with getting on top and closing that space, guys. All right. So let's go to think one more. More the next play. Okay. So we're right here in the slot. A little catch technique, guys. Um, we've been teaching all this stuff. Catch technique, press. Um, so right here, this guy, we shouldn't be doing this right here. Getting in a head up situation. Because look, in that little bit of space, Devontae Adams is trying to make you miss so he's getting just to where you feel like you can touch him Ugh, you see that catches the ball and now this is a third and manageable because that was a second down guys so we shouldn't play like that choose a leverage guys choose a leverage i'll play the back view just so you can see the completion but um choose a leverage guys and we play our principles. We had to have lateral movement, and we're staying on top in the catch technique. It's almost like press off the line of scrimmage. So we'll do it again. Hey, choose a leverage. He had help right here, guys, too. Um, I noticed that the first time. So he should have played outside leverage. This would have been an easy interception right here. This You can't get nervous. You can't get too big for the moment, guys. You have to play football, all right? All right, guys. Um, next play is at this is three forty four. Okay, I like this play right here. So okay, that's where we are at the bottom. We have Pat Sertain versus him. I believe this is a run play, but look how he plays it. Press, boom, straps. Devontae Adams. People say he doesn't get strapped. He does. He's a person. But I usually tell you guys to play chest to chest, but some dudes, hey, you see how fast he got around? His dad has been in the league for a while, guys. His dad played in the league for a while, so he has different techniques. You feel me? He's gambling. He's trying to get a pick. Uh, turn. You see how quick that turn was, guys, down there? You see that? I don't pay attention in there. We paying attention right here. So look. Press technique, motor, boom. And that's actually a technique, what he's doing with his off arm. So they're striking you, right? Get you to um, kind of, let's do it again. Go back one more time. So he strikes you. I'm going to try to pause it as many times as I can. But look, inch back, strike, get you to throw it off. Then I punch you firmly with the opposite arm. And then I played my second phase technique after that. All right. 
So right now at the top of the route, he chose the, hey, quick spin. And now he's going to play like basketball. We got to rebound. We got to, you know, box him out right there. All right. So now we're at um, 422. So, okay, this is the play right here. So let's go back one. Whatever happened here, we'll just watch it because we're preparing for the next play. All right. Jacob's on a run. That's cool. All right. So right here, what I tell you guys, motions are smoke and mirrors. They trying to get you in a situation. You mean, you feel me? A funky situation, guys. All right. A funky situation. So what does that mean? They're trying to get him to where he has to think. And in a situation where the rules and stuff change, you know, but we can't, we can't, we can't let that fool us. So right here, I don't like him backing into the end zone, but he is holding his outside leverage. And then boom, he drives and makes a play. So I can't be mad at it. You make the play. I can't be mad at it, but it could be a better play. He should not be backing into the end zone like that. You know, hold your outside leverage. Boom. He could have made the play even better. Good job, Pat Sertain. He's looking real polished. Okay. Real polish. Let's skip. Skip up. So, okay, we're down here. Dude, if you keep letting this type of stuff happen, they're going to keep going to it. All right? So, we have to have a leverage, guys. Based on how far he is from the ball, I'm playing inside right now. All right? He's head up. They have a middle field safety, so he could play outside, but you have to drive like crap on those in-breaking routes. But me personally, right here, I don't like to lose, so I'm playing inside right here. Look, I think he plays outside. And look, quick slant. Easy work to Sutton. So we got to, you know, know where we're at in the game. It's still early in the game, so I can take a chance like that playing inside. It's cool. You feel me? It's cool to do that. All right. We're later in the game. That five yard gain or whatever, it might not be as important. You know, it might not be as important. That five yard gain. All right. All right. Let's go to our next play. They, they see it. They're going to do it again, guys. They're going to do it again if you give them the opportunity to. You give them the opportunity. Don't mind my little nephew. Boom. Again. <laughs> again. If they see like a similar look, they're going to do it again, guys. All right. So got them back in press. Different look over top. It's obviously, it looks like a two look. I got to go back and look because I want to find out what coverage they actually in. It looks like it's probably a combo coverage. But, um, yeah, it looks like a two look. They're going to keep taking their slants early in the game. Okay. Let's go to our next play. Okay, all right. So, um, punt return. You see the way that they plan this punt return? Remember last video, um, told you guys um, how to play on punt return. Dang, it's going past the freaking play. Stop. All right, look how they're playing, okay? I do not like this one because this gives the dude, he's trying to run away from you. So it's not like a regular release where he's trying, he's just trying to win getting away from you like a bunny rabbit. On this technique, is going to have to make you oh, hey, block down the field, guys. Oh, hey, block, which means you can't crack back anymore, so all you can do is run past his face in front of him, all right? 
All he has to do is give you like a little release and boom, look, strike me. You want to be able to get some hands on him. So, you know, whatever you got to do. And it ends up muffing the punt right here. You see that? That's why I wanted you guys to see it. That technique is a bad punt return technique. If you get put in a situation like that, sometimes, hey, you got to try to cheat it as much as you can to make it realistic. Like, hey, if I'm going to be cocked like that, get closer, closer, close enough to him to strike him. Because they were like two yards inside, made it attract me. They end up muffing the punt. All right, guys. Make sure we um on that paying attention. We got two more plays, guys. Bear with me. All right. So this play, we're paying attention to our safeties. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, yeah, we're pre-play right here. So, okay, all right. Right here, it is something very important. That's why I put the note on the side, pre-play. Okay, it wasn't the play because I was offside. But look, this is a mismatch. I don't care if you have the help over top. They got their best receiver on the linebacker, okay? As a cornerback, you got to be smart. Talk to your DC. Hey, I need to be in there following with him because this is a mismatch, all right? Even if y'all are playing some type of zone, you're putting him in a in a hard situation, okay? And then you got your best corner on this dude, all right? Your best corner on him, all right? And then we have to have a high alert. This dude has like a 40-something number or, or a crazy number like that. When you see dudes like this out here, we want to alert screens and stuff, okay? We got to be smart, alert screens, okay, guys? Now, they didn't get to run the play. I think they actually were going to run a pass. It was no screen work, but just things to think about. Because when you see stuff like that, that's the type of stuff that happens. All right. So let's run it back. This is the play I'm actually looking at. No flags, no nothing. This is actual play. We're looking at the safeties. I had the other play confused. Okay, safeties. All right, the ball ended up going to Waller. Um, I believe they're playing two. This is a heck of a speed turn right here. He just has to remain on top, remain on that top shoulder. All right, because by him speed turning, this turns it into a um two man. You feel me? A two on one. All right, let's watch him again. Right here, speed turn. Got to get to that top shoulder though. It was a little flat. It got to be high, high. All right. Because we don't have anything underneath. We have the deep in this situation, safeties. But you see how, hey, you can work together once y'all neutralize who the threat is. You feel me? We have to make everything almost two on one so that either I'm getting paid or my teammate is getting paid. All right, guys? Hey, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of these videos. Hey, we love you guys. Um, don't mind my little nephew. Um, be safe.